Legacy is furnished as a public service by The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Any reproduction, recording, transcription, or other use of this program is prohibited. Any party violating these rights will be held liable for all costs, penalties, and attorney's fees associated with the violation. I thought you might like that. I'm proud of you, you're so grown up. I'm getting baptized on Sunday. Are you ready to be baptized? I'm trying to be good, and I, I say my prayers every day. Well, almost every day. Did you get baptized? Many years ago, I was among the first. I was only 13 years, years old, old when I first read the Book of Mormon. I borrowed a copy from Papa's friend and read all night. Would you get me more flour, please? Smith. Welcome to my home. I never imagined Brothers I would Jacob, actually meet Molly, the man they called the prophet. So but it was a moment I would never forget. Hello, Eliza. I'm Joseph Smith. It would seem, Brother Morley, that your missing Book of Mormon is not missing after all. I would like you to keep it. I shall give Brother Morley another. The Lord has called us to a great and marvelous work, to establish Zion, a land of promise. It was there I first heard the prophet Joseph speak of a place called Zion, the new Jerusalem, a city where we would build our temple and live in peace and be of one mind. I wanted to be a part of Zion with all my young girl heart. You're not taking your chair? We never did get it fixed. I said I'd fix it. Well, there's no time now. Why would God command us to leave? To find peace in our new faith. Well, it's not my faith. Please, change your mind. You Go don't even with know where us. you're going. We're going to Zion. You don't even know what that means. You're a fool. I'll have none of that. You've never tried to understand any of this. Johnny? Johnny! Johnny! I believe this to be the true gospel of Jesus Christ. God is the author of it. It was by him we received the Book of Mormon. And it is through his prophet's voice that we are called to go. Well, I don't believe in Joseph Smith. And I think you're a fool, too. I never expected to see my brother again. I never knew how much I loved Johnny until I watched him run away.
we followed Joseph Smith to Ohio and on to the far western edge of the frontier to a young Missouri town called Independence, to be gathered as a righteous people unto the Lord. That's what the prophet had said. And so to us, Independence was more than the edge of the wilderness. It was the place we would build our home and establish our promised city of Zion. You have a good ride? Come here, give me a hand with this. of these Mormons arrived in Upper Missouri. Now they number 1,200. They are superstitious and opposed to slavery. And how about that Joe Smith speaking to God and his angel? It's blasphemy. In no time, you will have a Mormon sheriff and Mormon judges. We propose this declaration. No Mormon shall move and settle in this county. Their leaders shall prevent any further immigration of their distant brethren. The Mormon printing office shall be closed. If you're in trouble, get everyone out. Eliza, take the children. For three years, we tried every lawful means to get our lands again and wearied God with our appeals for justice, but to no avail. The citizens of Clay County treated us with kindness, but in the end, they asked us to move on. This time, Mama did not go with us. We started over once again, but at last, our endless petition to the government was heard. They appointed Caldwell County for the settlement of the Latter-day Saints. My son, Johnny. Hello, Papa. I'm sorry about Mama. Come too late. I didn't know. I hope you can forgive me. I'll need some time. Yes, sir. I 
can't believe how grown up you are. You've gotten so big, I've hardly recognized you. Oh, I want you to meet my friend, Sister Catherine. This is my brother, Johnny. My dear, dear brother, Johnny. How do you do? Johnny. Oh, Johnny. I'll finish it for you now. <laughs> no, finish it for Mama. The Lord said the gospel would be proclaimed by the weak and simple. This surely proves it. You make a fine missionary, Papa. I'll do whatever the Lord asks me to do. I've asked Jacob to look after you. Then we'll be all right. stubborn and unforgiving. I'm sorry. Now, don't just up and join the Mormon church because of a pretty face. <laughs> yes, Papa. Goodbye, Papa. moves in a mysterious way, but watching Papa go, I could never have imagined the way his mission would change my life. I myself have looked for the truth for many years. There are many who are kept from the truth only because they know not where to find it. How can you claim to know the truth? He is called a prophet, a Moses in our day. False prophets in sheep's clothing. Uh, Ravenous wolves. <laughs> and Matthew also says, ye shall know them by their fruits. Here is the fruit, an ancient record confirming what every Christian heart yearns to know for certain, that Jesus is the Christ, the very Son of God. May one buy your book, preacher. Oh, of course. Just for the price of printing. Five pennies. Oh, I am short the price. You may owe what's left. A man's soul should be worth a farthing. Well, they believe in the Bible, as we do, but they have another book, another testament to the Lord. Here, have you seen this? And when you have received these things, ask God, Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, whether these things are not true. Did you ask God? I feel as if I should join myself with them. The faithful have looked a long time for a renewal of the ancient faith, David. Perhaps the time has come. I believe God can speak to men. If your heart tells you it is his true church, 
And maybe he is speaking to you. On Sunday last, 17 souls joined themselves to the body of the saints by baptism. Among them is a fine man named David Walker, whom the Spirit of the Lord has truly touched. I love you all. If trouble continues, remember there must be opposition in all things that righteousness be brought to pass. The peace and good cheer of our home in Far West did not last. The harassment from the mobs had come again. Revenge is not the Lord's way, but some of the brethren were determined we not be driven out again. My brother Johnny was among them. The rumor is unconfirmed, Major, but I have heard those Mormons are raising an army against us. Take this to General Clark at Far West. He is to proceed with all possible speed. The Mormons must be treated as enemies. They must be driven from the state. Or, if necessary, exterminated. The trouble with our neighbors did not end, but we learned to endure, and the Lord poured out his blessings in return. Johnny married Catherine and settled on a creek near the city of Far West at a place we called Hans Mill. Our precious city of Far West was in ruins. An army of mobbers had entered our homes, stolen our possessions, taken our property at the point of bayonets, and violated that which was most precious. provides that you leave the state forthwith. You can expect no mercy. I will ensure that the governor's orders are carried out. As for your leaders, you will never see them again. Is there? 
It doesn't exist at all. We retreated. We were beaten. We traveled back the way we had come and took refuge in a sick, infested swamp on the Mississippi. Our leader said it was to gain our strength and go west again to build our city of Zion. But I did not believe them. Eliza. Johnny had faith and he's dead. Joseph had faith and he's in prison. I believed in Zion and there's no such place. If God loves us so much, why has he abandoned us? We'll find Zion. We will. Leave it anymore. But at least from prison. You look quite like the way I feel. <laughs> Do you have faith to be healed? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is there no end to the suffering? The Lord suffered all things for us. Our days are known, and our years shall not be numbered less. If the very jaws of hell gape open after us, it shall be for our good. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I do. I do. But is he truly mindful of us? Eliza Williams, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise and be made whole. <laughs> Lord does love us. He chastens us to teach us obedience and faith. Zion cannot be built without these principles. It is our own weakness that keeps us from her. Yet even so, we shall begin again to raise a city. The Lord has already begun to sweep the earth and gather his elect to help us. Joseph Smith was a prophet of God. Within three years, our beautiful city of Nauvoo rose like a miracle from the dreary swamps of commerce. It became the largest city in the state of Illinois.
stone is laid in honor of the great God. May it there remain until the whole fabric is completed. That the saints may have a place to worship God and the Son of Man, our beloved Savior and Redeemer, have where to lay his head. with a good captain, I made sure. How could I ever thank you, Jacob? I have more thanks than I deserve. Eliza has consented to be married. Papa? Oh, I'm so sorry. This is David Walker, Eliza, Mary, Catherine, and Jacob. You have a fine eye for beauty, sir. Excuse me, sir. My name's David Walker. I'm Joseph Smith, Jr. Right. Well, of course, I know who you are. You're the prophet. I'm only a man, Mr. Walker, sent to preach the gospel. I, I was baptized by John Williams in England. Well, I arrived first this morning. Splendid spectacle it was. Then it is Brother David. Welcome to Nauvoo. It is a high honor. What may I call you? Oh, I've been called just about everything. <laughs> Brother Joseph suits me fine. Brother Joseph, then. It's a grand time to be on Earth, David. The fullness of times. Tell me what you want me to do. Help build a temple here on this very spot where we may worship God according to the powers of the holy priesthood. Help us do that, David. If ever a people were inspired by a vision and united in a common purpose, it was those of us who were called to build the temple in Nauvoo. Holiness to the Lord. Brother Jacob? I have your lunch whenever you're ready. You're a man of obvious good fortune, Brother Jacob. <laughs> How hard does she stay so pretty? Flattering words are a devil's trick, Brother Walker. Ah, but truth is not flattering. Jacob said you're working on the temple one day in five, twice the one in ten Brother Joseph has asked. Jacob exaggerates. Jacob is precise in the truth. I confess. I feel driven to finish it. Well, the temple will bring us blessings we don't even understand. Jacob is waiting till it's finished. So he can marry Eliza there. Well, perhaps I will slow down and work just one day in ten. Challenge on the cross cut. Aye. Elder John. No, are you quite able with your hand? Should we have a small wager? I avoid intemperate habits when I can, Brother David. Of course. Uh, well, a prize then for the winner between us. First turn with Eliza at the dance. Brother Hiram. Ready.
Your work on the sunstone for the temple is exquisite. I started cutting stone when I was only 12. I cut stone much better than I dance, I'm afraid. <laughs> you did fine. No, I have two left feet. <laughs> is your foot all right? <laughs> I told you it's fine. I would like to call on you again. No. No, no. We mustn't even discuss it. Eliza, I would have you for my wife. <laughs> you remind me of Johnny. Well, I've, I, I've little to offer, but 